Hi guys, I'm um, going to share with you another perspective uh, drawing based on plan. Today I'm going to share with you a garden plan with a size of 3 meters times 3 meters. I'm going to draw a one-point perspective. Um, I'm going to draw this area will be a sitting area. The L shape seat sitting. And then I'm going to draw a or oh, a tree some you know, a tree somewhere there. And then there's a freestanding wall somewhere there. And then I'm going to have also a freestanding wall somewhere there. Okay. First thing that you need to uh, the first thing that you need to do is to draw your horizon line. That is the first protocol. Always do that. The first protocol is to draw your horizon line. And then the next protocol, the next steps, you have to draw a human figure. As your reference, so that will be your human figure. So, the size of you, the height of human figure is normally 1.5. Then, I need about 3 meters width of that area. So, I started from here 1.5 is based on this human figure, and then another 1.5, and then it will complete the 3 meters width of the area and then I'm standing at the center in this in, in the center of the area looking towards the garden so the vanishing point will be situated at the center of this three meters area so then project the line project the line and you have to have three meters uh, one meter one meter Width, then you you have to divide the, the area into three, so that will be one meter, one meter, and one meter. So project the line, and project the line. I decided from here to here is one meter. I decide. So to get your three meters that you join, project this line towards that, and then that will be your three meters, that, and then that will be your. Okay, so more or less that will be your 3 meters width with a 3 meters depth of your garden. So where is your seat, your seat located? So it's located somewhere there. So that is your seat. Where is your trees? Your trees is located somewhere there, more or less based on that. Then you have to construct the seat, seating area. And you know from here to here is 1.5, you only need 500 mm. So you divide them into three parts. So that will be that is your height. And project this line to this area. And then get that line in. And then you need that guy and this going to the line. And continue again, then continue back to that, and then join this. So you have a L shaped sitting area. Then you need to construct the trees. Always remember that will be your trees. Okay, leave it like that first, and then before we ink, and where was the I'm going to draw a freestanding wall with a height of 2 meters. How do I know 2 meters? You know from here to here is 1.5 plus another 500 then will be that 2 meters height of that wall. So that is your freestanding wall with a height of 2 meters. Next you need to draw this a freestanding wall with a height of 3 meters. 
you know that from here is from here to here is 1.5 then you bring that another 3 meters 1.5 plus 1.5 that is your 3 meters and then project the line up to the bottom part of this area and then bring that line in then you have the 1 meter width of your wall and then bring that up so that is your freestanding wall of the height of 3 meters times 1 meter that now uh, start to ink your 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 garden so I'm going to start with a sitting area so that is your 1.5 and join the one so that will be your sitting area uh, then I'm going to have a yeah that is the bottom the stand for the stick so it's going to be like that so that is my sitting area and I continue thinking the, the objects that is free standing wall Standing wall. Then I'm going to end this. There's another free standing wall there. You have to remember this is just a stash. At least it makes sense. It looks logic to see. So that will be your trees. You put it and put it somewhere bunches and touch off and have a detail if you want to make it more detailed than that it's up to you you may have a rough outline or you want to have a detailed outline it is up to you it is up to the time that you have with your sketches if you decided this one will take longer time to finish then take your time to render the to draw it properly but if you don't if you have less time then you have to make it faster and then try to find ways to get the things done very fast so that is the the, the how i compose a trees the tree okay, next i want to have a shrub by the trees surrounded the trees the tree Okay, next I want to have a freestanding column somewhere there. I need to have one, two, three, four, five columns. So what I need to do is I have to bring that up. What is the height? You know from here to here is 1.5. Then we've got another one point five about three meters, and that will be the three the column area. Then you have to divide them into one, two, three, four, and five column. So that will be your five column, and then start inking with the object. the column you can make some adjustment this is just a sketch no really much about the accuracy of but it looks must look proportion based on what you see and then okay next is going to draw at the depth of that column always refer to the vanishing point Okay, but it, this one you can see the the, the another the side because it's straight uh, parallel to the the vanishing point. So so that is the column, freestanding column. Okay, you need to have another, but this is not 
it's outside the, the plan but I want to render it like this a, a shrub higher shrub surrounded the garden the context but it's not exist in the plan I created by my own based on my engineering imagination sorry so okay more or less and then okay draw a human figure Present the scale. Then you may you may decorate the, the wall like this. It is up to you. You are free to render what uh, anything that you think is suitable to the wall. You don't have to follow me. It's just an example. Give some depth on that by rendering to give the impact of that. There's, there's a spaces in between. So render the sitting area So I want to have a wood finishes wood finish So I draw like that And I have to be accurate but at least it looks like wood Okay, this one also I want to and to look like a wood finish it doesn't have to be yeah that's more or less like that it goes like that and it goes like that so this one So here I want just to put a dead leaf just to give some impact, a nice impact to the, the floor. So maybe there's a and then maybe you can have a simple line like that. And here you are. Your one point perspective of a garden there will be four birds there and by me